What is up my YouTube friends? Today I am going to show you an awesome free application that's going to allow you to do all kinds of amazing things with your camera, including remove your background really easily, no matter what application that you want that camera to be in, whether it's Zoom or OBS or Prism Live Studio or Polypop, StreamYard, EVMukes, wherever you want it to be, you can put it in there. It's absolutely awesome. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but it's totally free. So we've got a lot to get to. So you know what? Let's get to it. The application we're going to be using today is called Prism Lens, made by the same company that does Prism Live Studio. They've completely revamped Prism Live Studio. So if you haven't checked it out recently, you definitely should. But this is a completely separate application that allows you to do all kinds of awesome things with your camera. Now you can definitely go to the link in the description and check this out, download it for yourself and follow along. It really is the best way to learn. So let me show you how to install it first. So you can see there are two different things that you can download on this page. There is the Prism Live Studio and the Prism Lens depending upon which one you want. And you can see it is coming to Mac very soon. In fact, probably by the end of July, super exciting. We're just gonna download our prism lens right here and we can select windows, pops right up. And you can see that it is downloading. Once it's finished downloading, all we have to do is double click on it. It's going to bring up an administrative prompt, which is why the screen is black. You just click yes. Then you can drop this down and select your language of choice. Click install. All you have to do is go through the prompts. You're all set up and ready to go. Now that we have it downloaded and installed, I'm really excited to show you what this can do. So we're going to hop right in. The main thing that most people will probably use it for is color grading. And of course, beauty effects and removing your background. And you can use it in any application, Zoom or Microsoft Teams, StreamYard, Restream, Melon, EVMukes, or of course, you can use it in OBS. So any of these features are going to be available in any of those programs. And that's what makes Prism Lens so unique. You just select your camera. It's very simple. My camera's right there at the top. And we could go in here and select my camera properties. So as you can see, my camera is in HD. I'm running it at 24 frames per second. We can actually select our color drop down. If we like, we can change any of that out. I'm gonna leave it as it is. You can do different lenses. So I can go in here and I can select a completely different lens. Um, so I can use the Insta360 and there we go. So, if I went in here, I could choose a completely different camera once again. I could go with this USB Live camera. And there we go. So we could select from multiple different cameras and do all that stuff. We're going to focus on our main prism lens. You've got the stuff over here on the right. And so this is the beauty effects. And it will change kind of the shape of your face if we turn it on. And you can adjust all that stuff right here. So this is natural. And, you know, I don't really notice this doing a whole heck of a lot to my face. But these beauty effects do exist. They are here. And they can slightly modify the look. Then you can add your mobile. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. It is really pretty simple. This one down here, I think, is really cool. So you've got your color correction. So you can correct the colors in your background or anything else whatever you want to change. Very, very simple. Very, very cool. And then you've got your color picker. So this is like Instagram lenses. It will change up the color of your, of your images. So you could use these literally anywhere that you want. And they work very well. And of course you could go to the question mark here. It brings up all sorts of website information. If you are looking for more information, then we can click the setup here and general doesn't really have much other than language. We've got our output settings. So you set the output lens information and the quality. So you could change this from high or maximum. 
whatever you want to do and you can automatically adjust the quality based on the resources available on your machine which is fantastic you can also save screenshots out of this so you can set a screenshot path screenshots are saved in png format and this menu down here is going to go to the exact same spot so before we get into lots of other stuff let me show you how to use the prism mobile so we're going to go over here to lens 2 and instead of selecting that i'm going to select prism mobile you're going to see that we get a qr code all i have to do is go onto my phone and open up prism mobile and then i just point it at the screen to scan our qr code and then i get a selection camera screen or connect vtuber in this case i am going to set up our camera but you can set it up to connect your screen which would be mirroring your phone screen or a png vtuber which i did a video on before i can go ahead and link that at the end if you want to check it out let's go ahead and connect our camera and there we go so we can turn this any way we want so we can use it so now our camera lens 2 has this stuff and this will enable you to use all kinds of cute cool features on your phone uh, just like the beauty features and all that other sort of stuff but there are also all kinds of masks and lenses and things like that like this one right here so I would really like to see them integrate this directly into the prism lens so that you could hotkey this and use these on your main regular camera instead of having to use your phone camera but they exist they're really cool that's how the mobile setup works let's go back to our prism lens and i i think the mobile feature is awesome like i said you can actually stream your phone screen as well so if you wanted to do phone games or something like that you can put these in any application. It doesn't have to be Prism Live Studio. So the big one here is also the background removal. And you could do it just as easily as clicking that. So you have instant background removal in any application, OBS or any of the others. It's really that simple. And you can use um, any of the backgrounds that are existing in here. They are all free. They are all totally free. They have static backgrounds over here that you can use, or you can upload your own background if you would like. So I look like I'm in my normal background. And you can use this right here to add blur or not blur to your background, which is awesome. You can also edit the image so I can zoom do that sort of stuff we can crop we can make it skinnier all that sort of stuff we can do with these images just by clicking edit image so let's go and use one of these I just think these are awesome but that is how the prism camera works and there's so many awesome features that you can use anywhere so I'm gonna show you how to add it to prism live studio and then I'm gonna show you how to add it to OBS just so you can see that it will go anywhere you want. All right, so I have Prism Lens opened here. We have a Prism Live Studio open in the background. All we have to do to add this is click the plus, and we're gonna go to video capture device like we're adding any other video capture device. And we can call this whatever we want, camera or Prism Cam or whatever we want. Click OK, and it comes up. Then we select which prism lens we want to use. So if we set up all three of them, we can add them all in here separately if we want and use it like it's three or four different cameras. Very cool. There are different settings that you can mess around with in here. I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to use a custom audio device and select the audio that goes with this particular one. So the Cam Link Audio 1. There we go. Now we have audio in here. And we have our prism camera loaded right in here. Looks beautiful, looks amazing. By the way, this is a completely revamped version of Prism Live Studio. 
that was designed specifically with performance in mind. So if you haven't checked it out, you definitely should because it has some amazing features on top of everything that OBS has. So maybe check it out. Let me show you how to use your prism cam in OBS. All right, so we've got our prism lens open here and we have our camera all set up. All we have to do is go over here into OBS, click the plus, go to our video capture device right here we can call it whatever we want click OK and we'll just drop this down and we can select prism lens one there we go we have a completely removed background going to do the exact same thing in here and use a custom audio device and I'm going to select the audio device that I want in this case cam link audio one there we go let's go ahead and make that there we go so that would be more like what you are used to seeing now I'm not gonna lie and say that the background removal is perfect but I haven't seen anything that is quite as good as this it really does a pretty fantastic job do my hands fade out a little bit when they're out here yeah maybe a little bit but every one of them does that this does an absolutely incredible job of making it not distracting when you actually do it you can set it up any way you want you can use it in any application that uses a camera that you want just by loading in your prism lens and guess what you can have up to three different lenses loaded in there as well this is such an awesome application and you don't have to have Prism Live Studio installed on your system at all to use it. So if you don't want to use Prism Live Studio, but you want to use Prism Lens, no problem. And it's all totally free. So there you have it. That's the Prism Lens. And Prism, if there's one thing I'd really like to see, it's access to all those awesome mobile lenses in Prism Lens on the PC. I really do think that would be a game changer. And I'm wondering what my audience thinks so you guys let me know in the comments and of course when you do that you're letting prism know as well they do listen they did all of these changes to everything in prism live studio and prism lens because they heard your questions your comments and your complaints about performance and you really have to check it out now because they've done an amazing job of fixing everything. If you want to see the video that I did about setting up a VTuber on Prism Mobile, which you can use on any application through Prism Lens, which would be your OBS, your Prism Live Studio, or anywhere else, you should check this video out. And a big thanks to Prism Live Studio for sponsoring this video. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.